created the spirit group High Riders, and in my mind, it is unequal anywhere in the country. The impact that they had on women's basketball teams through the years has been incredible. In the early days, when there were only four or five hundred people sitting in an arena to watch us play, they were always there. We always could count on their voices and their support and their encouragement, and I've always loved that. Her spirit um, and her love for Texas Tech and, and women's athletics and just Texas Tech in general has just been unmatched. Um, and something that you can't ever take for granted. I also have fond memories of, you know, going on road trips, and Mrs. Art would always make those uh, popcorn bags. You know, I was always excited to see those. Um, some really good popcorn. <laughs> now she has left us with a ginormous pair of shoes to fill. She meant a ton to us. She was just like a mom for us, as she's been a mom for all the high riders in years prior to and still currently today. She was just a very good-hearted Christian woman who loved the high riders, who loved tech, who gave us ideas on how the high riders could help the Lady Raiders and how we could help the Lady Raiders and our girls. And we're just going to miss her a lot. I would be eternally um, impacted by her presence in my life and uh, eternally grateful that I got the chance to know her and love her. To honor Mrs. Otterburn, family members Diana and David Otterburn, and friends Bill and Diane Todd have joined us today. Additionally, three founders of the High Riders, Nancy Hughes, Lynn Travis, and Kathy Scott. Fans at this time, we have to stand up and honor Mrs. Otterburn and the great human being that she was. If you'd like to donate to the Joyce and Junior Utterburn Scholarship Fund, please scan the QR code on the video board. We love you, Mrs. O!